Thank you very much. This gag order is not only unique, it's totally unconstitutional. I'm the Republican candidate for President of the United States. I received this honor in record time. Nobody's ever gone faster. It's never happened. Nobody's ever got the numbers that we got. And I'm sitting in a courthouse all day long listening to this stuff. But you have a judge who's totally conflicted, totally, absolutely conflicted, that he's rushing this case through. I'll tell you what, some people, somebody just told me they've never sat for such a long period of time in a courthouse before. It's ridiculous. I'm supposed to be in Georgia. I'm supposed to be in New Hampshire. I'm supposed to be in Ohio and lots of other places. But it's a real, a real disgrace. And the whole world is watching. It's a disgrace to New York. And just like N. Gorin is a disgrace to New York, we won that case because we won it on statute of limitations. And he turned down the appellate division. That's another case. It's all the same. He turned down the appellate decision, the appellate division's decision. They gave a decision that gave me mostly a win. Just about the whole thing was a win. And he turned it down. He's a corrupt judge. And this judge is terrible. And Kaplan is terrible. Gave a person, I have no idea who she is, $91 million. This is a corrupt system we're in. Inside Donald Trump's prison cell, the surroundings are like any other small enclosed space. The walls are gray concrete and a narrow cot with a thin mattress is the only piece of furniture. A tiny metal sink and toilet combo sit in one corner, while a small barred window allows a sliver of natural light to filter in. The sound of clanking bars echoes through the air as guards patrol the hallway outside. What? What? What is President Trump is 76 years old. He will die in federal prison. Trump spends his days pacing the limited floor space. The once powerful man now finds himself in a place of confinement. If we actually wanted to trust the science, we'd see the gray wolf has actually made progress in the recovery, but also that wolves in the northern Rocky Mountains are being killed in dramatic numbers, even the celebrated Yellowstone National Park's gray wolves. And why? To protect livestock? Wolves kill nine out of every 100,000 cows in America. Wolves overwhelmingly field, feed on deer and elk, not farm animals, and prefer habitats with high forest coverage. Dogs kill twice as many cattle as wolves and 13 times more sheep. In Colorado, where wolves were recently reintroduced, so far they have killed one calf. Yet we don't say that all good dogs should go to the gravel pit when dogs kill twice as many cows as wolves. Premature listing not only hinders wolf research, but in this environment it puts a nationwide target on gray wolf packs. I love my dog. I've seen the emotional complexity of canine consciousness, which they inherited from their ancestors. If you love your dog, thank a wolf. Wolf families are more like human families than almost any other species. They mate for life of their partner. They keep their children in the pack until they're old enough to look for a mate. Please read Farley Mowat's Never Cry Wolf to see just how intelligent and charismatic these animals are. Uh, I'm just going to display my full ignorance and have my juice here because Washington State Republicans are next level S-H-Y-T-E. Seriously, it's, it's good. Into the thing is, this is popcorn munching time and it's meant to be serious what they're doing, but it's like, you'd think this was a sketch from SNL or something. We do not want to be a democracy. Originally, congressmen were elected by a direct democracy. Senators were elected by their state legislatures. And presidents are elected by the Electoral College. We are devolving into a democracy because now congressmen and senators are elected by the same pool, a direct democracy. And with the national popular vote coming, we're going to be electing our president by a direct democracy too. Bad idea. Bad idea. We are devolving into a democracy. We do not want to be a democracy. Okay. 
As Danny Westnate at the Seattle Times reported, delegates of the Washington State Republican Convention then stood up one by one to argue that the U.S. should repeal the 17th Amendment, which allows us to vote for our United States senators. After that resolution passed, they went bigger. They voted to put this language into their platform, quote, we encourage Republicans to substitute the words republic and republicanism, where previously they have used the word democracy. Every time the word democracy is used favorably, it serves to promote the principles of the Democratic Party, the principles of which we ardently oppose. Quote, we oppose legislation which makes our nation more democratic in nature. We oppose legislation which makes our nation more democratic in nature. So say Washington state Republicans, officially in writing in their party platform. What's going on here? Inside Donald Trump's prison cell, the surroundings are like any other small enclosed space. The walls are gray concrete and a narrow cot with a thin mattress is the only piece of furniture. A tiny metal sink and toilet combo sit in one corner, while a small barred window allows a sliver of natural light to filter in. The sound of clanking bars echoes through the air as guards patrol the hallway outside. What? What? What is President Trump is 76 years old. He will die in federal prison. Trump spends his days pacing the limited floor space. The once powerful man now finds himself in a place of confinement. 